What are the most two important things to maintaining your seawall? Well, we're out here today in Merritt Island on a seawall repair project. And I'm just gonna take you a quick, quick walk on the two most important things. Number one is soil stability. And you can tell here, this has become instable soil. The soil is, uh, if you can come in here close, the soil is actually washing out and eroding and if you come around here onto the other side, you can actually see where all the sand has been just eroding out onto the other side. So again, soil stability is key to maintaining the life of your seawall. Once this soil instability happens, you're gonna to start to see your dead man's start to be exposed. And these are the anchors that are holding your seawall back. And you can actually see here along the seawall where you're starting to get some very light uh, hairline cracks on the cap. And that's because the seawall is starting to shift uh, slightly because of the soil instability. The number two um, tip most important to maintaining your seawall is actually your pressure relief valve system. And that is also referred to sometimes as weep holes. And that allows the hydrostatic pressure of the water to release on the water side and drain out. Without that, the pressure can shift the wall and uh, cause it to become structurally damaged. Um, now on this wall, we're going to put in a new pressure relief valve system called a jet filter system. So again, just a quick, quick video on the two top most important things to maintaining your seawall. Soil stability, number one, and your weep hole or pressure relief valve system on the seawall. Once those two dominoes start to fall, the whole entire seawall can become structurally compromised and shifting to where the whole wall needs to be removed and replaced, costing upwards of 80% more than doing soil stability like we're gonna be doing out here on this wall. Thanks for tuning in for a couple of Helicon tips on maintaining your seawall.